Welcome back to creating a 5M framework this time. We're gonna be looking at notifications and this one's gonna be a little more, uh, I guess you could say raw. Uh, <clears throat> so we don't really have like a blank idea except that it's gonna go in our elements folder. Um, obviously we would want this to be an export as well. So we're gonna basically make it in the form that it is uh, gonna be an export. So a couple of things we wanna do in here. Um, it sort of just line it up correctly. So we're going to do comments down here for notifications. And that's just to keep things basically clean. Uh, and we're going to copy this local MP and just comment down right here. So we could sort of see. Uh, so instead of ele this, it's going to be elements. And uh, we could do nodi. Nodi? We're good for. Eh. Yeah, nodi's fine, I guess. Uh, so that's going to be like the sort of idea behind it. And then inside what we're going to, uh, what we're going to have, I guess is color. So you could have a color of a notification, or I guess you could have, uh, uh, let me just write some stuff down. Let's do, uh, do, do, do. Is that how we do it? No. It's like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, so in here, we could sort of write it down in here. So we're going to have CLR. Is that not how you do it? Or is it two brackets? Might be two brackets. Yeah, it's two brackets. Okay. So our CLR is going to be a color, uh, which we could sort of define with one comma two comma three, uh, and have three different colors. So we could have green, um, red and blue. Uh, for server notifications and we could set it to be a default of green so default green well, actually we should probably default blue uh because that's more of like a server notification i guess um obviously then we're gonna have our message so we're gonna have a message in here so we're gonna basically go, it's gonna be like this it's gonna be color i guess we could do clr for this gonna be color message and time um, time it's gonna be on your screen for uh, message obviously equals message and then time uh, I believe we're gonna do milliseconds or we could do yeah we could do a default of 10,000 uh, 10,000 probably a pretty long 6,000 default uh, or even honestly we could do time where it's short long we could do something like this. Uh, that way it's just really defined uh, quite uh, quickly actually. So I guess what we're gonna do, we're gonna obviously have to close the UI at some point. Um, so what we're gonna end up doing is I guess a couple functions here. So function of, um, do we already have open UI? We probably do, don't we? Let's just double check, make sure we don't have open UI anywhere. Uh, there's open UI right here, but this should be fine. Uh, so we could do open, actually let's do open notification, open notify. That seems a little better. So in here, we're gonna basically have all this stuff. So CLR message and time. Uh, and we're gonna set our UI to be true. Oh my God, I almost did a semicolon. I'm so used to C++ right now. Uh, and then we're gonna have to set an uh, NUI message because this is what's gonna be contacting uh, here. So in here, we're gonna copy and paste this down. Obviously these actions have to be uh, pretty different. Uh, run notification, notify, run noti we could do to true. We could set this to true. Um, I believe we need a couple more things in here, obviously for the color and stuff like that, if we're having different colors. So we're gonna have to pass all this through as well. So uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna type this out, color equals CLR, uh, text equals message, comma, and then time, I guess, I guess time could equal time, right? Don't see really an issue with that. Uh, and that's gonna be our first one for opening. 
Uh, we can basically copy and paste this one down and um, close Nodi. Uh, same thing with here. Uh, this one just going to be closed. We don't need to pass anything through here. And instead of uh, run, or not, yeah, run Nodi, we would just do close Nodi. And being closed would be then true. Uh, false for UI. And then that's basically, that basically is it. Okay, so now we're going to be working on our export, uh, which is going to have a little more information for these uh, colors and time. So we could do this. So export, is it export or exports? I forgot actually. I think I'm pretty sure it's just export. So what we're going to do here is export, what are we calling it? Nodi. So we're calling it Nodi, just like so. And we could go in here and just make sure we're doing this right real quick. Yes, we are. So exporting Nodi, and then we're going to have the function. So let me just double check this comma function and in here we're gonna sort of want all the same stuff so we're gonna get message time and everything like that and then we're gonna end so you could sort of scroll back inside here you just see what you do uh, it's actually exports too Oops, exports and uh, so we're gonna be exporting nodi so it's the same exact thing so we're gonna want a color thing so we're gonna do a couple if statements so if not uh, CLR um then clr equal ooh, equals to one which is going to default to default blue basically and then we're gonna need to end this so end uh and same thing with our time so if not time then time equals to short um and and then we could do a couple things here. So inside of here, so if not time, time equals to short. And then if time, I guess, if not time, time equals short. We could actually just hard code this and just put 6,000. Uh, um, mm -mm -mm, yeah, that's that should be fine. Because technically this would be args three, but um, I guess we could just default to 6,000. I guess we could do time, if time, if args three, this is, no, this would be time, if, I'm dumb, uh, if time equals equals short, then time equals 6,000. And, and if time equals long, then time equals, uh, we could just do double, we could just do double that, and then we could end. Uh, I just wrote it in a line just because, I don't know, it sort of makes it easier just to read, I guess, so if time short, uh, and then if not time, then time equals 6,000, which is just short. Um, yeah, pretty pretty simple there. Uh, and then after all of this, we would basically just be opening this. So we'd basically be calling this function um, just like this. And then we would open Nodi, color, message, and time. And just like that, that would basically it that should be it okay nine minutes we have plenty of time we could do a little more here we could do the like let's just do the html um so the thing we're gonna have to be calling is a notification so this is gonna be sort of the thing so notifications down here we already sort of have this um obviously div div dot wrap div. Uh, so this is the class we're going to be calling in here. Uh, this is just our basic uh, class, just not in our, it's sort of like basically a container. It is basically a container class. Uh, and then in here, we're going to do a div and a class of note. 
ID, which is going to be our notification. Uh, we're not going to type anything in here uh, because we don't want to hard code anything. This is just going to be our default notification. Uh, moving on from there, though, uh, we could open some CSS here. And do, 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 let's just see what we got here. So a couple things. We're going to want this wrap div. And let's go just go to the bottom and type uh, notif notes notes down here. So we're going to want dot wrap div. And inside of here, we could do a display of block for now. Uh, where do we want this? The question is, where do we want this? Uh, maybe bottom middle of the screen. Yeah, let's try that. So let's just do a margin left of 50%. Try to get it just in the center. Obviously, in game, we're going to have to do this a little better. So let's do a width of how, how big do we want this? 25% maybe, uh, height of 20%. We're gonna obviously have to see how this looks. Uh, margin, let's do it. I guess we could do bottom, right? Bottom, since we want it on the bottom, of 1%. Color of the text, obviously we're gonna have to go with white text. And padding, padding two pixels maybe. So we have that. Now we're gonna need our notification. So inside of here, we're gonna do dot noti, which is gonna be uh, height. What is that? Bottom, do like 10% for right now. And just, we'll, we'll have to see what this does. Overflow, we're gonna want that hidden, uh, just so nothing goes off screen basically. And then position of relative. Now we're going to want a background for this. So I guess we can copy this and do nodi dash g, which is going to be our background. Oh, we're going to have to have a couple of these actually. Yes, we're going to have to have a couple of these. So we could default our background color to a blue. Um, let's just do RGBA um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And let's just select a nice blue in here, I guess. Maybe that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. Uh, it's not doing A though, 0 0.8 RGBA, just like that. And then we're gonna want our color to be white for text, just to default that in, margin, four pixels for now. Obviously when we're in game, which will be uh, the next video when we get this, we'll be doing the scripts.js uh, for it. And then we'll go in game and test it out and uh, basically see it how it looks. Uh, so text align, obviously we're gonna have to have this to be the center. Uh, no point in not doing anything else. Padding, we're gonna do the same two pixels as we did before. Uh, do we want it around? Uh, let's keep it just square for right now. I, feel, uh, I guess um, then we do, we do have a lot of round elements. Um, uh, around, oops, good comment. Comment round, question mark. <laughs> Add a little, add a little thing for us. Uh, font weight. Uh, we're gonna want sort of like a bolder. Uh, let's just use bold for now and just see how that looks. And then our size. Uh, what can people read? Fourteen pixels. So like, that's. I mean, twelve is normal, right? Display. Inline block. For that. Uh, I guess we could do colors here. So. I mean, this is the blue color that we want. So I guess we could just do dot blue and then that equals this. And we basically just copy. So we want red and green, right? So red, green. So red, obviously just go up to this. Green, I guess we sort of want like a darker green though, right? Wouldn't we? Oh, this red might be hard to see too. Let's go darker red. Um, yeah, so that should be it for the CSS, HTML, and our client side. Um, so calling this is just gonna be, oops, get rid of that local. It's just gonna be exports uh, this, basically. Uh, and this is how we're gonna call it. So we're gonna write that right up here as well. Do a notification, and that's how we're gonna call it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. We should also get a readme. Is it RD? I think it's RD, right? 
Uh, we'll just save that in there. I think it's RM actually. Fuck. Uh, what's in here? I'm pretty sure I have it in my base, right? Ew, it's not in this base. Where's it at? Where's the readme file? It's MD. I'm fucking stupid. Uh, elements. MD. There we go. Uh, and we'll basically just change this, uh, give a lot of information on what you can call here. I believe our cache is good, but we will be on the next one with our scripts and then we will be showing it in game as well. What is this? Front face. All right. I will see you on the next though.